The world's first large green methanol vessel, Anamask, arrived at Dubai's Jabal Ali port last week as part of a maiden voyage. This ship, which is a dual fuel vessel, is the first of 12 large e methanol container ships Musk will be rolling out in order to achieve its ambition to be net zero of greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. We caught up with the captain of the vessel and the UAE managing director to learn more. The uh, vessel is 353 meters long, 52 meters uh, wide, and we can carry 15,000. 600 uh, TUs, like, like 20 feet containers. We are saving a lot of uh, CO2 emission. So uh, every day we'll, when we're running on the medicine, we are saving like 260 tons of CO2 uh, coming out from the chimney. So that is a big advantage. This vessel today is one of 25 um, e-methanol ships that we have on order. And outside of the ships that we're ordering, we're also investing in uh, our technology in our warehouses. So we're electrifying the warehouses uh, with renewable fuel sources uh, so that we can decarbonize the full end-to-end -end, uh, supply chain. Considering shipping is responsible for 3% of all CO2 emissions, using green methanol is one way to reduce its carbon impact. However, methanol is toxic and flammable, so there is a safety concern which currently is manageable. The bigger cause for concern is costs. Renewable methanol production costs are still significantly higher than fuel alternatives such as natural gas and coal-based methanol production. But Cook has a solution. Carbon tax. And one of the things that we're advocating is uh, bringing on board a greenhouse gas tax so that we can have a level playing field for uh, sustainable fuels like e-methanol versus um, uh, traditional fossil fuels. So it's not necessarily subsidizing, but it's at least ensuring that there is an equal um, cost comparison. I mean, there's no question that we will, be, we will need to pass on the costs of these uh, of this e-methanol fuel. According to Irina, methanol is one of the easiest to implement sustainable alternatives and hence the demand is rapidly growing. Abu Dhabi Chemicals Derivatives Company has teamed up with global methanol producer Promenagy to develop the UAE's first world-scale methanol production facility. Mubadla-owned Sepsa has partnered with C2X, an independent company majority owned by AP Muller Holding, to develop a 4 billion dirham green methanol plant in the port of Huelva, Spain. Musk has other methanol production projects underway, but these may still not be enough to meet the growing demand. In the early stages, the, um, the production levels are not at the same level as, let's say, traditional fossil fuels. Maersk has made a number of commitments. Recently, we announced just before the end of last year a, a commitment with um, a company in China, Goldwing, which is going to produce 500,000 uh, tons of e-methanol. The, the, the production capacity is expanding uh, all the time, but of course it's taking time and of course the producers needed to see the demand was there which of course that's now starting to come through and that's going to help fuel uh, or rather build up the production uh, of the fuel sources.